Hey guys, so it's been two months since we released the 2016 version of A9 in the wood composite material and a number of things have changed so I wanted to put a little video together to talk a little bit about what are those changes and what are some other things that are coming up so that you're all aware. Um, what I'm showing here are the two different scales that are coming up. So the, the two guys in the foreground are our 12 inch biped scale to the 1 6 scale convention and uh, rider up there which is riding the horse is also uh, it's going to be coming back and it's going to look a lot more uh, like the larger bipeds uh, essentially it's going to have all the exact same articulation except for the fingers but it will have a wrist rotation which is great then there's that big guy in the back who is one third scale and uh, these armatures are going to be available as complete sets um, or in individual pieces um, but you know the biggest change that you're probably seeing here is the mixture of materials. So one of the things that I learned is that if the wood composite is rubbing against the wood composite, they wear each other out uh, really quickly. And so that's really the, the biggest uh, criticism and comment that I've been getting from customers that have been getting this so far. So you know randomly I decided to experiment with mixing these two materials together and it turns out they're a perfect match. Um, I was uh, spinning these joints 180 degrees and hinging them hundreds of times before even recording this video. And here you can see me doing it multiple times and I didn't detect any sort of loss of tightness. Now that doesn't mean they won't get loose over time, but what it, what it says is that it will last a lot longer than if we had stuck with pearl against pearl or wood against wood. And so um, now you will still be able to get a solid color version but you'd, you'd have to essentially buy those pieces individually in that particular color and then swap them out. Um, but uh, this is how we're going to be moving forward from now on is with this mixed uh, media. Now I'm hoping at some point maybe to look into having different trim colors. So have a dark trim instead of a light trim and perhaps if I can find a trim color that is a close match to the wood then you could still have the illusion of a solid color throughout but um, still have the benefit of the two materials. The, hand, the articulated hands have gone through like four revisions in the last uh, two months. And as you can see, they're a lot more proportional now. They got narrower, essentially. They were a lot wider before. So I figured out a way of, adjust, of adjusting the design on the fingers so that uh, they could fit together more closely. And uh, a lot of these changes apply to the legs as well. As you can see, the, the pearl white clip at the top. The twist strength there, the, the fitting has been improved quite a bit, as you can see. And the knees are using the same material as the wood composite, so there's not that color change there and then the pearl white a portion of the foot and mag magnets uh, that was something that we added a, a few weeks ago and so uh, the legs have been improved tremendously the the ankle design has changed quite a bit making the the ankle a lot more stable and we also came out with this other foot variant uh, called the fastenable foot variant it essentially has a fastener at the heel we'll probably also come out with a toe that has that as well and what's cool is that it's a hole all the way through so you could mount it any way you want whether it's through a wire or through a screw because it is a, a, essentially a threaded fastener and uh, that gives you a lot of options in terms of how you might want to how you would prefer to fasten the feet to the ground if you're doing stop motion animation or anything of the sort then there were some mi minor cosmetic improvements like uh, you may recall there was sort of a an awkward kind of line or scar on the right side of the face that was cleaned up and removed and then we're revising a number of other parts in our kits and bits and which impacts the wings of course like the dual socketed clip and the triple socketed clip and uh, as you can see, uh, uh, one of the other benefits of mixing media is how much easier it is to snap these joints into the, the pearl white material. And in case you're wondering what that rig was that I was showing at the beginning, that's the new Hydra Crane. And instead of offering the single neck, we have three necks now, or three arms that you can attach, so you can stage really complex uh, scenes. And uh, for the single mounting option, we came out with this new clip tripod essentially um, and it's a lot less expensive it's $25 and it works great it's a lot more space efficient you can just clip it onto the side of your desk so that's uh, the update if you guys have any questions or any thoughts comments uh, leave them below or you can message me at facebook.com forward slash armature 9 or send me an email at store at digital double dot com um, uh, these products should be coming out of hibernation on March 9th so Stay tuned or join our mailing list so you don't miss out. 
and uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks, guys. Bye.